I got to tell you guys, I'm not sure I've ever had a worse run betting than I have over the last couple of weeks of primetime football. I, I would have told you it was a statistical Im impossibility if it wasn't actually happening. I What can go wrong has gone wrong through and through every one of these games, but the good news is there's only one way to turn from here. I'm Dave Lochran with Odd Shopper. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're still here with me. We got an interesting game, though, for Thursday Night Football. Getting it out to you early. Some interesting nuggets coming into this one. Of course, some injuries on the Packers side. Looks like most of these guys outside of Romeo Dobbs are going to play. So I think we have the information that we're looking for. Let's dive into it. Got a side, a total. Total is the one I'm definitely leaning closer towards than the side, but we'll break it all down. That's what we're here to do. Let's make it happen. All right, so... You got the Titans on the road. They're three-point dogs against the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. Of course, both of these teams playing on a short week. Uh, you know, this is one of those games where you look at the total, you see 42, you look at the Packers, you see them laying three points, you know, after finally getting a win. And I can't help but think that this game plays to the under for a couple of reasons. Titans have very little passing game to speak of. I know they look good last week, right? Nick Westbrook Aquina having the game of his career will likely never happen again. Ryan Tannehill in his return looks solid, but they still only managed 17 points in the win. And one of the most obvious reasons for that is because the Broncos completely sold out to stop Her Derrick Henry, which they did successfully, right? They still lost the game because their offense stinks. But as we saw, while Ryan Tannehill was good enough to eventually get them to win, I think he'd put more of that on the offense than the defense getting them, or the defense than the offense getting them that win. They still saw very limited production from Derrick Henry, which forced them to go to the air, finish with 17 points. On the season, the Titans, Titans big games, actual game totals are averaging 37 points and 31.6 over the last five. Of course, Malik Willis play, uh, played in, in two of those, but let's not forget either that you know, they held Patrick Mahomes to 17 points in regulation, 20 points uh, if you include overtime. So the defenses look great. Titans are two and seven to the over this season. It should come as no surprise to anyone just by the way that this team is constructed. And the game plan is going to be, once again, to try and get Derrick Henry the ball as much as possible against a less than stellar Green Bay defense. I think they will. Obviously, he should have some success, but that you know, usually lends to a slower paced game, a lower scoring game. If Derrick Henry, uh, you know, honestly, whether or not they can even establish anything on the ground, you know, you're probably going to see another 20 catch, uh, 20 uh, rushing attempts. Easy for me to say 20 plus rushing attempts for Henry. Another thing too, you look at the green Bay side, they've played in some high scoring games. Uh, still six of 10 of their games have gone under, but they're also on a short week as are the Texans. Packers don't have a bye week until week 14, though, and they have a lot of, of banged up players, whether they're in or not. I'm assuming most of them will play a lot of banged up players coming into a game where they only have three days of rest. Not to mention it's going to be 24 degrees with fit with up to 15 mile per hour winds at Lambeau Field on Thursday night. Looks like an under 42 game here. Slow paced, a uh, lot of rushing for the Titans. Now, I want to get into something that both plays to the under, um, but also plays to where I'm leaning on a side here. Before I do, though, if you guys haven't signed up at DraftKings yet, I've told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times, best offer you're going to get $5 into $200 just by using the link in the description, link in the pinned comment. This is what you do. You hit, click that link if you haven't signed up at DraftKings yet if you haven't bet there yet take five bucks that's it it does not need to be six dollars or ten or a hundred dollars five dollars take that five dollars when you sign up after you click the link put it on any team you want money line and if that team wins you're getting five dollars in the 200 now you're probably saying yeah but i mean what if it loses sure if you're betting you know a a, a huge dog on the money line there's a good chance a very good chance that it's going to lose. However, it's college basketball season. It's college football season. That means that you're going to have massive, massive favorites every single night. I'm looking at it now. Minus 4,000, minus 2,400. There's minus 8,000 games out there. Bet the biggest money line favorite. Forget about the returns on that. And when it cashes, some of these teams just will not lose these games. You're getting 200. Even if they did lose, you're only down five bucks. But you're turning five into 200 by betting the biggest money line favorite. 
chalking that up as a win and turning it into 200 on the other side, getting a bankroll that you didn't have before. So check it out. Links in the pinned comment and in the description if you haven't signed up at DraftKings yet. Now's your opportunity to uh, essentially get the biggest odds boost you've ever gotten in your life of betting. All right, so on to the side. Let's take a look at how this works and how these teams stack up against each other. You guys can make the decision for yourselves if you don't want to tail this one. Um, I'll give you what I have. The Titans have the number one ranked run defense in the entire league, according to Football Outsiders DVOA metric. They're allowing 85 yards per game on the ground and four yards per attempt, just elite across the board. Christian Watson last week for Green Bay was the savior that they needed, more so that Aaron Rodgers needed before he killed somebody on the sidelines. But they were finally able to establish a run game. And, you know, it's the old cliche, like establish the run to open up the pass. Well, with the Packers all season long, we've actually seen that be the case. You know, the only other definitive convincing win they got this season was week two against Chicago when Aaron Jones did all of the heavy lifting. That probably is not going to be the case this week. Titans are very, very good at slowing down opposing run games. And, you know, it, it, you're looking at the pass catching options for the Green Bay Packers. Romeo Dobbs is going to be out. So you're talking Christian Watson had a great three touchdown game. I think only four targets last one, last one out. But still, do we know that this is something that's repeatable week in and week out from Watson? He made a mistake pulling up on a ball towards the end zone. Again, it's only one play. He had a great game and he's a second round pick. They're probably going to look for him to be their guy for years to come. But it's still only one game. Then you're talking Alan Lazard, Sammy Watkins, Robert Tunyon. They don't really have an embarrassment of riches as far as the wide receiver position goes. They're also, another thing, the Titans, if I can flip back here for a second, 7-0 against the spread over the last seven games. So week one and two, they they, they, they didn't hit. In the last seven weeks, they are 7-0 against the spread. On the road this season, 4-1 and against the spread on the road. The Packers got off the schneid last week after dropping five straight. Still a lot of questions here, a lot of banged up players. So if I'm leaning one way or the other, I, look, I think this is a, a good spread at three points, Packers at home at Lambeau. But I would lean low scoring game, competitive game, look to get Derrick Henry the ball a lot, look to stop the run for Green Bay and force them, force Aaron Rodgers to throw more than he should, which ultimately ends up in mistakes as we saw against the Jets, as we saw against the, the Detroit Lions, and the list goes on. So I'll lean Titans plus three here at Lambeau on Thursday night. And like I said, under 42 for all the reasons we talked about. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game. And I'll catch you back here tomorrow. Picks for every game of the week heading into week 11. Peace. Peace.